Hey what's happening guys, welcome to your 10th MongoDB for beginners tutorial and in this video I want to switch our attention to finding and reading data from the database. Okay so I thought we'd just have a quick recap on what we've covered so far. So I've shown you how to make a connection to MongoDB using Mongoose and the connection string so we know how to connect to MongoDB now. We know how to set up a simple test environment with Mocha with those describe and it blocks. We've created a model and a schema, and remember, a model represents a collection in the database, and the schema represents the structure of the individual records in that collection, for example, the different properties they have and the types of those properties. Um, we've seen how to create an instance of a model, i.e. a single record, and then save it to the database. And then finally, in the last tutorial, we saw how we can drop an entire collection from the, uh, the database, and we did that before each kind of block of tests, right? So. Now I want to move on to saving records and I'm going to focus on two mongoose methods during the rest of this playlist for saving records and they are find and find one. Now these are functions which is why we've got these little curly br uh, these brackets right here and I've put criteria within there because we can pass through some criteria on which we want to search by. So if we pass through a name property in here of Mario then we're going to go out and find a Mario character. All right. So the difference between these two methods right here is that this one will return us multiple results if there are multiple and this one will just return us the first one it finds. So for example, if we say we want to find a Mario character with the name of Luigi, then this right here is going to go out and find every single record within that collection with a name of Luigi. There might only be one, but there could be four, so it's going to return them all to us, right? This one right here is just going to go out and find the first one with a name of Luigi and return that one single record to us. So this is always going to be one. Now, unlike the save method, we use these methods on the models themselves, not on the instance of the model. So for example, the save method, which we used, was used on a single instance. So we'd say something like this, my, uh, my car equals new Mario car with a name of Mario. Then we take that instance of that model and we'd save it to the database. So this right here, this method is being used on the instance of that model. Make sense? The find methods are used on the models themselves. So this is the model, Mario Kart, we say dot find, and then we want to find every record with the name of Mario. So that's a major difference between these two methods. And it kind of makes sense because when we're doing this right here, we're saying we want to save that individual record. And when we're saying we want to find something, we want to find it from the collection, right? So it kind of makes sense. Okay then, so in previous tutorials, we've created this test file right here called saving test. And this has got an it block in it right here, which is a single test, which saves a record to the database. Now, we're going to now find records from the database. So I don't want to put my test in this file. I want to create a new file. So I'll come to test and go to new file. And I'm going to call this finding underscore test.js. So we're going to put our finding test code in this file. But I'm super lazy, so what I'm going to do is copy all this dude and paste it right in here. So we still need these two things up here, so I'll keep them. Uh, describe, then we'll change this to finding records. This it block, which is a single test, I'm going to change this to finds one record from the database. And then this thing right here, this goes out, it creates an instance of the character and it saves it to the database. Now, do we still need that? Well, yeah, technically we do need that. If I go back to the connection.js file, you'll see this thing right here before each. So what this is doing is dropping the collection before each test, if you like. So if we don't then go out and create a new character, then we've got nothing to find because that collection is being dropped. So we want to keep this code, but what I want to do is take it out of here and pop it up here so that it runs before this test because we want something there beforehand before we go out and find something, right? Now, I'm not just going to paste it in like that because I want to make sure that it's actually completed before we then go on and do this test. So how can we do that? Well, we're going to use a hook and we've seen hooks before. We say something like this, before each, and then pass a function in here. And then this is going to run before each of these tests right here in this describe block. So within that function, then, we can paste this code but there's one thing missing notice right here we're saying done 
and we say this to say okay Mocha you can move on to the next test now we need to pass that right in here as well if we don't pass it in here then it's not going to know what this is and it's not going to work okay so we're creating a character with the name of Mario we're saving it to the database and then we're saying done which says to Mocha okay now you can move on to this test right here so now we want to go out and we want to find this record from the database so we're going to use the find one method since there's only one we're going to use find one so remember we use that on the model itself so I'll say Mario car dot find one oh and by the way this find method right here I said we can pass parameters in here like we can search by name or something but if we don't pass any parameters into this object then this is just going to go out and find every single record in that collection and return them all to us so that's how we get them all okay we're just going to use find one and then we're going to search by name because we know the name of this dude is Mario so I'll say name is Mario okay so that is going to go out my friends and it's going to find one record the first record in the database with a name of Mario now this is an asynchronous request we don't know how long it's going to take so it returns that promise to us so then we can say dot then and this thing right here takes a function which is only going to fire after this thing is complete right so after it's gone out and it's found something then we fire this function and within the function we can pass through the result that it finds okay so this is going to be what it comes back with hopefully the record so in here we can now assert that we found the result we found the record with the name of Mario how do we do that well we can say assert and then result and this result is going to represent the object that it returns to us which has a property of name so we can say we want to assert that the result dot name is triple equal to Mario simple right so that's what we're saying if this result has a name property of Mario then this has successfully gone out and found one record with the name of Mario makes sense doesn't it okay so let's say done just to finish off our test and now we're going to run this to make sure it's worked so I'll save that and I'm going to come to this thing right here and I'll say npm run test all right cool so now we see these two different describe blocks finding records and saving records and under each one we've got a single test the first one here finds one record from the database cool that's worked this one right here saves a record to the database that's worked so now both tests are passing awesome so that is how we find records from a database in the next tutorial we're going to have a look at that object id property that we can see on those records when they're saved to the database